Howdy folks, welcome back to the You Want Pizzazz channel. We've got an awesome tutorial for you today. We're going to be learning how to create a mystery footprint animation in After Effects. Before we get started, I want you to download some assets in the description below. You will need a mystery footprint PNG and an ink blot animation. Once you've got that downloaded, go ahead and drag the mystery footprint onto your composition. I'm going to hit S on my keyboard and just scale it down. We're going to resize these footprints later, but for now, just keep it as big as you can on the screen. And then we're going to drag our stock footage onto the screen. With the ink blot stock footage selected, hit T on your keyboard to adjust the opacity and just drag this down so that we can see the footprint underneath it. And then drag your playhead across to see what is going to happen with the animation. Now we're going to use this ink reveal to animate the footprint. So we want it to be the same length as the footprint. So I'm going to hit R on my keyboard to activate the rotation keyframes and just rotate it so that it covers the footprint completely. I'm just going to move it over to around here. That looks great. At around two seconds, I'm just going to cut this layer and I can do that by hitting command shift D on my keyboard. For PC users, that is control shift D and go ahead and delete that second layer. I'm going to hit T on my keyboard and just make the opacity back to 100. And then I'm going to go into my effects and presets and search for Luma key because we're going to key out this white background here. With the stock footage selected, you can double click the Luma key to apply the effect. And then in effect controls, we're going to select key out brighter and we're going to set the threshold to 20. So let's take a look at our animation so far. That looks great. Now under the track mat settings, hit this little arrow here and we're going to go to alpha mat. Alpha mat the stock footage. Now if you hit play, you'll see that the ink blot reveals the footprint, which is exactly what we want. I'm going to select the mystery footprint and then again split the layer, command shift D, delete. And then I'm going to copy these two layers by holding down shift and then clicking both layers. I'm going to hit command C, command V to copy and paste the layers. For PC users, that is control C, control V. And I'm going to drag these layers across so that it lines up exactly with the second layer. And then we're going to remove the alpha mat for now. And we're going to reverse the stock footage. And you can do that by right clicking the footage, going to time and time reverse. And then we're going to alpha mat the stock footage again. Now let's take a look. So now the footprint animates on and off screen. Let's say we want to make this a little shorter. We can uh, drag this in a bit. Maybe let's make it around three seconds in total. I'm just going to drag these layers in. Uh, drag them back a little more because we don't want them to cross over. Perfect. So something like this. Perfect. That looks great. Now we're going to comp this footprint. So I'm going to hit shift on my keyboard and select all these layers. I'm going to right click, select pre-compose. And then, yep, make sure move all attributes into the new composition is selected. We're going to call this footprint comp. Press OK. Now drag your playhead to the center of the screen to see the full footprint. We're going to hit S on our keyboard and scale it down. And we're going to hit R on our keyboard to rotate it. So right now we are just placing the footprints. We're going to take our selection tool and just drag it to the left side of the screen. And then we can just copy and paste the layer by hitting Command C, Command V, and just moving this across like this. Hit R. And then pretty much just copy and paste the footprints into a pattern that you like. Mm. 
So once you have your footprints in a pattern that you like, we're going to stagger the footprints. So I'm just going to zoom in here. And then I'm going to go every five frames, I'm going to add another footprint and drag it like this. So 10 frames, drag it out. And that's pretty much it folks. We've got a really cool mystery footprint animation for you here. If you found this video helpful, please give this video a like and subscribe to the You Want Pizzazz channel for more videos. We do After Effects, Premiere Pro and Photoshop tutorials. I hope you have an awesome rest of your day. I love you so much and I'll see you later. Bye!